Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very, very long time. Um, we will kind of dive into that. As you can see, I do not have anything on my face right now and I thought a good way to get back into this um, because I haven't filmed for so long was to do a little chit chat, get ready with me, but with all my favorite products over the last little while. I've been really focusing on having only certain product products in my bathroom basically when I get ready and I'll keep them in there for three to four weeks at least and then that way I can just really use them well and then if I really like them I put them back into my collection if I don't I set them aside to either toss or to give away but yeah so I thought I would kind of grab some of that stuff and just kind of go through my process of getting ready that I'm doing now with all the different brushes that I've been using and the different skincare all that kind of stuff um, just so you could see what I've been enjoying the last while. So without further ado, I'll get into, you know, why I've been away and all that kind of jazz as we go. And also just to know, I'm filming today and it is my birthday. Um, I'm getting ready. So this makeup will be what I'm wearing for the rest of the day. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, all I know is that my boyfriend said that we're doing something and that's it. <laughs> I don't know. He will surprise me later once he gets here. So yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so first up with skincare, I have nothing on my skin. Um, I'm going to start with serum. This is from Vichy. It's the Aqua Lea Thermal Serum. I really don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I find two pumps is about right. It's really nice and lightweight, but intensely moisturizing. Like, almost too much for the summer, but my skin is pretty dry, and I try to get it to a normal phase as much as I can. I'm actually going to just pop my hair back. Okay, um, next up, eye cream. I've been trying to get a little bit better with my skincare as I am getting older, especially today, you know, birthday and all that kind of stuff. Um, I want to start diving into retinols a little bit more, so I picked up a while back the Dr. Brandt 24-7 Retinol Eye Cream. Um, this is pretty good. I mean, I haven't seen a ton of, like, improvement. Um, I just use, like, the tiniest amount, and I make sure I put it around the entire eye area. It's nice and lightweight. It doesn't dry out my eye area, which is nice. It's relatively moisturizing and it sits well underneath makeup as well. Um, there's some other retinol ones that I want to try though. Um, so we'll see if they're better than this one. I mean, it's all right. It is expensive though. So I kind of wish I would see more results faster. And then face cream. Um, I will be having a blog post go up on this at some point soon. It's half written. Um, this is the Lexly aloe-based day moisturizer with SPF 30. Um, this was actually sent to me and it's this like obviously lesser known skincare line and they really focus on glycolic and vitamin C and they have it in these like little spherical things of vitamin C so it can actually stay stable in the container until you use it. Now this does have SPF 30, which I'm really enjoying. Um, my skin really likes it. It doesn't break it out, and I do use it every single day. I'm usually not good with using SPF every day, even though I'm so fair. Um, but this one I've really been enjoying. It definitely gives my skin like a nice like glow, kind of, oh, not a greasy feel, but, you know, it works. Um, and they have some other products, which I will review in my blog post that's coming up. Okay, so then you're probably wondering where the heck have you been? You haven't posted anything on the blog, nothing here, barely anything on Instagram. Yeah, I needed a break basically. Um, it's not that this is stressful, it's not like anything like that, but um, my focus in life is just slightly shifted basically. Um, I have been working at the same place for two and a half years now. And a couple months back, I got promoted, which is very exciting. And it's a huge adjustment. Um, I was before a medical editor for the agency that I worked at, and now I'm a managing medical editor. So now I have a team of medical editors, and we need to get all of these assets, like, proofed and approved and submitted, all that kind of stuff. And it's a lot. Every single day is completely different. Um, and... I am usually exhausted when I get home from the end of the day. Um, if I even get home at a decent hour, there's been days I work until 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. And it, it comes with a job and I'm not complaining about it at all, but it definitely takes away from this. So for foundation, which you've probably just seen me do a bunch of pumps, um, these are some of my favorites that I've been using um, recently. Uh, Samantha, Samantha Jane YT, she 
came over to Shell's house for her pride party um, and she had some extra shades and stuff of this CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. So I picked up a couple of them. I picked up L10, which is fair porcelain. And then I also got L40, which is classic ivory. In between these two, I definitely needed like a 20 or a 30 because that would actually be my shade, um, but she didn't have them. So I took those two and I mix it. So I basically put one pump of each. And then because I love glowy skin, um, I've been using the Annabelle Perfect Gleam Custom Highlight Drops. And this is in Aurora. It's a rose gold shade. Really pretty. So I put a small drop of that. And then I just plop it on with my finger. I typically do still need concealer after this step. This, I find that this foundation is a medium coverage. It doesn't dry out my skin though, which is really awesome. And then once I have a little bit left over, I always take, I'm using the Morphe um, Beauty Sponge. I can't even think of what the name is right now. I got this back in LA in January. Pretty good. It's kind of falling apart already, which the Real Techniques one and the Beauty Blender doesn't, but I mean, this is cheaper, um, but it is nice. I do like that it has the flat part and the pointed part. So you can see it gives like decent enough coverage, but it's definitely not full coverage. You can layer it up, but I tend to just, at this point, go in with concealer. Instead of putting another layer, full layer of foundation on, I'd rather just put on concealer in the spots that I need the extra coverage. Especially with summer, I definitely don't want my skin to look like cakey and stuff, so I'd rather just correct where need be. But this one is sad, it's basically almost done. Um, this is the Physician's Formula Insta Ready Full Coverage Concealer, and it is in the shade Light. This is probably one of the best concealers I've used, and especially from the drugstore. Now basically this is like running out so I just have to like scrape the bottle with the pump part. This is not hygienic at all, but it's just me so who cares. So yeah, so work has definitely kind of kept me from there. Plus like I'm on my computer all day at work. The last thing I want to do when I get home is, you know, be on another computer. Actually the same computer, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, it's just been really stressful and I'm the one that kind of gets blamed if something goes wrong even if I didn't do it like I'm responsible for my team now which I really like the responsibility but it does it is a lot to take on like when you're first promoted it's a big change and you're really stressed out and stuff like that so slowly I'm settling into the role but it is taking time so it definitely took away from all of you people so you can see that really nicely like covered everything up even these spots I tend to sometimes just go back over those spots, maybe a third time, just to make sure it's covered. Okay, much better. Now I'm gonna go in and cons like um, contour first, just so that that way I can kind of brighten up my eye area afterwards. This is a very surprising product that I've been loving. Um, I got this gifted to me. It was sent to me from PR. Um, it's the Avon True Color Transforming Contour Stick and there's no shade. I think it's just one shade that you can get, but there's basically a light end and a dark end, and I actually really like this. I typically don't love cream products, even though I have dry skin. So I kind of start on my cheekbones first, and then this is another one of my favorites. This is the Morphe E20 brush. I picked this up in LA. Yes, because up in LA, it was totally different, nice and big, and it just buffs out this cream product so well. I kind of just like have at it. And then I'll put a little bit more in my temple area. You can just see how nicely this stuff buffs out. Down to this temple. Just on that cheekbone. Right into the hairline. That's the key. <laughs> There you go, you can see already like that brought so much life to my face. And then what I also do is I just very lightly go down my nose and I do the tiniest little bit here because I do have a nice little indent here and it kind of makes my lips look a little bit more pouty. There, nice contoured nose. And then I'll just 
basically clean off the brush. I know I should have started with the highlight one, but I always tend to like to start with contour first and then go to the highlight. And then I'll just pick the other stick up of this one, run it down the center of my nose, center of my forehead, right along my eye, two lines there, a little bit there, and a little bit on my chin. And then whenever I start with a somewhat clean brush, I always start at an area that I don't care as much about the highlight. So I would never start on my nose. I start on my chin first. So then if there's any residual contour shade, it'll go there and it won't look strange. I'm pretty happy with that. So now the key is for me is to set all of this with powder. Um, even though I have dry skin, um, it is the summer and I find that my skin can get a little bit oily through the t-zone and my makeup just doesn't like to stick to my skin if I don't powder it. So Trusty Old Faithful is the Sephora Collection um, bronzing face powder in medium 3 Los Cabos. That's literally the only bronzer that I use. Until I use this one up, I will be digging into my collection to use it up because I am really trying to decrease my hair looks crazy right now. Decrease the amount of products in my collection. Um, it's getting a little bit too much for me. I think it's a little bit unnecessary. Um, definitely shifting my focus. When I was younger, I was always like, amass, amass, amass. Like, I need to get everything. I need to have this huge collection, and it'll make me feel really good, and it'll kind of complete my life. I'm slowly figuring out that that's not what life is about whatsoever. Um, it is nice to have all these nice things, but I definitely am trying to spend my money on different things than just makeup or nail polish. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with this Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me powder, set and smooth normal to dry in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. Just to put that underneath my, oh f I forgot to conceal my under eye. I just put powder on. Take that brush. <laughs> I'm gonna go in first with this corrector. It's from Sephora. Um, it's the Peach Light 04 Bright Future Color Corrector. And I'm gonna go very light handed with this considering I have powder on my face all over the place right now. Should be able to make it work. And then I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral. Again, I'm going to go pretty light-handed with this just because I did put powder on already. And yes, that is light-handed compared to what I usually do. It's just so pigmented, it just shows up so nicely. And see, I kind of take that concealer, and instead of going straight to create that thing, I'm taking it up onto the high point of my brow bone. I'd rather all that extra product be there, and then it kind of lifts the eye area. So now I can actually put freaking powder on my face. Try that again. I'm gonna just do my eyebrows really quickly. Um, another reason why, as I had said, I'm trying to declutter and stuff like that is because at some point in the next couple of months, uh, me and my boyfriend are gonna be finding a place to live together in. Um, and I have a lot of things. I have a lot of belongings. He does not have a lot of belongings, um, except for clothes. We both have a lot of clothes. So obviously moving in to a place together, limited space. I have a two bedroom apartment for myself right now and we're probably gonna get like a one plus den. So definitely need to declutter. Just figure out what's actually important to me. What do I really need? What do I not need? Um, I'm just taking my all time favorite eyebrow pencil. This is the Annabelle Skinny Brow Liner in Universal Dark. Just to fill in my brows. It's usually helpful too just to get in a little. And then for brow gel, typically I'd always use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, but this one I was um, gifted and I figured I might as well give it a try. It's the Precision Brow Mascara in O2 Brown from Nude by Nature. Packaging is awesome and the brush is really tiny. So yes, yeah, so with the move and all that kind of stuff, we haven't even looked for places yet, all that kind of stuff, but we will be. Um, there will definitely be declutter videos coming up um, at some point once I actually start decluttering because, I mean, 
those videos did really well a year and a half ago, so I might as well, um, you know, keep doing them because they are received really well. Um, so yeah, okay, so I have my skin, my brows, I'm gonna leave blush and highlight till the end. So I guess my eyes, um, now I went out and I purchased this and I spent a lot of money on it because of freaking duties and the exchange rate and all that kind of crap, but not that you can see because it's getting washed out and it's just all gray. This is the KKW Mario collection from KKW Beauty. So yes, Kim Kardashian. Um, this palette is awesome. Um, I mean, obviously Kim Kardashian is not the one that's actually like creating these shadows and all that kind of stuff, but she does have some sort of a say. Um, but the fact that Mario was involved, you can tell this is just such a nice, versatile eyeshadow palette. Like, it's just so well done. The shadows are really nice. There's really nice pigmentation. Um, now I just have to figure out. So I'm going to take Miami and put this, like, in my crease and above my crease. They blend super nicely. They build up super nicely. Yeah, I'm just going to go with like a pretty light, smoky, bronzy, shimmery eye. I have a little bit of glitter. I mean, it is my birthday. And I just used a Morphe M433 brush for that. Just really nicely diffusing the color. You can see though, like, that's some pigmentation, so don't don't knock this stuff. I'm not gonna get the new one that she just recently announced just because I have enough neutrals and frankly it was a lot of money. Um, but if she does another Mario collection then I might pick up a couple things. I also picked up the um, lip glosses and the lipstick because I just got the whole bundle. Those weren't very good. I found that the lip gloss could get very clumpy kind of, it like kind of gathered in some of my lip lines, um, kind of separated a little bit. And the lipstick, it didn't adhere nicely to my like my waterline. I kind of had to do a lot of prep work on my lips for it to work properly. Um, I'm now taking Libra, no, Albanian, and just putting it in basically the exact same spot as the first shade, but just not as high up. Just to work that crease really well for right now. Um, and then with the same brush, just because I'm like that, I'm going to take Decade and just run it over the top of this, just to blend it out a little bit more. Okay. That's it for that palette for now. I will be going back into it. But for the lid, I'm going to use this gorgeous, which you can barely see on camera because it's so freaking reflective. This is from ColourPop and it is Snake Eyes and it is stunning. Like, absolutely stunning. Um, I'm going to take it on the Morphe M422 brush and it's this beautiful, like, taupey rose gold. Just gorgeous, gorgeous shine. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the KKW Mario palette and I'm gonna go back in with my Ami, the lightest one, and just run my brush through my crease again. Okay, and then same palette, obviously, I'm gonna go in with this nice dark shade. Um, this one is Loyalty. And I'm going in with a uh, Bedellium Tool 781 brush. Julie gave me this little brush set. I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, and I'm going to lightly, lightly take this right in that corner of the eye. And then with like hardly any pressure, bring it along the lower lash line. That way it kind of stamps it right into that outer corner. I can't remember what these names. Albanian. I'm just gonna run that along the lower lash line too. 
here we go. Um, and then lastly, I just need to do inner corner highlight and I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M149 brush. It's, it's so tiny, great inner corner um, shade. I'm gonna go back in with a loyalty. Do I remember? Decade, decade. I obviously don't look at the names while I use this palette. I just put it on the inner corner just to brighten that up. I do have a little bit of the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. You know what? I'm going to just pat it on with my finger just to the inner corner of my eye. Not where I put 2008 from the palette, but just inside of that area. I'm going to take one of my favorite mascaras right now. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation, but in the waterproof. Um, I did do a review video of the Total Temptation line, um, and I didn't like the corally pinky too because it didn't keep my lashes curled, but this one definitely keeps them curled. And it's actually a really easy removal process for waterproof, even so much so that I get a little bit worried throughout the day to wonder if it's going to smudge. So it's kind of like a nice in-between of like a regular mascara and a waterproof mascara. I'm not going to put false lashes on just because I don't know what we're doing today. And frankly, it's like, I don't know what time it is. 3.05. I don't need lashes on at 3.05. Also, just to, as I checked my time, Fantasy baseball that has consumed my life, which is also probably another reason why I haven't done any of this. I've been watching so much freaking baseball. Um, I love it though. Um, my Andre, I was gonna say my boyfriend, Andre, his work has a fantasy baseball league, and he asked me to enter if I wanted to join, and I said sure. I've never done fantasy sports before, but I love baseball, so I figure I might as well give it a try. We are on week 15 right now. I'm undefeated. Yes, thank you. I'm undefeated. I don't know how today's going. I haven't checked for about an hour or so. It's just a little shaky. I don't really know, but we'll see. Um, but really fun. One of my players just got a home run, so that's why my phone went off. Um, I'm going to go with with blush, and this is from Essence. It's the Blush Play Sculpting Blush Palette in 01 Play It Peach. So pretty. I kind of, I make a freaking mess of it. I swirl my brush in the two because I actually really like the combo. And... Look at how pretty that is. This is the Up and Up um, blush brush from Tarte. I don't even know if they make them anymore, but this is probably one of the bl best blush brushes out there. Now, in case I go a little heavy handed, which I just did with the blush, I just lightly tap with my Morphe sponge. That's good to go. There's also a highlight in here. It's okay, it's not the greatest, but. It, like I mean for drugstore, it's actually pretty good. And then for highlight, I'm going to use another thing from Nude by Nature. This is the highlight palette. There's no shade thing of it. It's just three. So you get a really nice, like it's like a champagne-y pink shade. This like peachy pink shade. And then this nice like terracotta -y shade. Really like for, this is a blush. Same with this. But this one at the end, that's where it's at. And I'm using the Royal Nine Ankle Moda M12 brush. Because I'm crazy, I do put it on my forehead, but never right in the center. Always on the side. Remember, I have dry skin. I've always just wanted it to look like I've been like doused in water. Okay, so I have all my face done. All that I have left is lips. Now, this is definitely one of my most favorite lipsticks. I just want to get rid of any residual makeup as best I can. This again is from Nude by Nature. Um, I've done a video on it before. Um, they sent me a ton of products. I went to an event. Um, so I've been trying to give them all a, a nice try. This is moisture, the Moisture Shine Lipstick in 09 Rosewood. And it is so freaking pretty and so like hydrating and it has this gorgeous shine amazing pigmentation Look how pretty is that um, and then I'm gonna add a gloss on top of it not that it needs like a gloss but I figured 
I've been loving this one too. Um, so I might as well use it. This is from Inglot. This is from the Jennifer Lopez collection and it is in the shade J221 Soft Rose. I do have a blog post with uh, swatches of these. It's so nicely pigmented. Great shine, great color. Nice little like sweet scent as well. Okay, and then that's the makeup look. I wanted to talk about one last favorite because I couldn't obviously shove any more into this freaking video, um, but it's something I've been using for my hair a lot lately, and I thankfully don't have to use it anymore today because I just dyed my hair, which I'm really happy with. It's from Garnier. My regular one was on, wasn't on sale. It was like $17.49 at Shoppers. No thank you. This one was on sale for like $6.99, so I figured I'd give it a try. But anyways, my true favorite for the last while has been this Schwarzkopf um, Root Retoucher. It's a temporary root cover spray, and this is in the shade Dark Mahogany. I got it at an event for Schwarzkopf and, like, got to be and all that kind of stuff. This is life-changing. Um, I obviously dye my hair. I do not grow this out of my head. Uh, I wish I could, though. Um, and... I also don't love dyeing my hair all the time. I don't like dyeing it like every three, four weeks just to cover up the grays. And guess what? I'm getting grays. Like it is a rapid increase of how many grays I have in my head now, which makes me feel old, especially on my birthday. Um, but this root retoucher has really helped just because it's so easy. I can just basically, wherever my hair is going to be parted for that day, I just spray it on. Um, I've taken some photos. I'm going to put it either on Instagram or a blog post um, in a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is so good. It's also expensive at Shoppers Drug Mart, so keep an eye out for it when it goes on sale. It's so good. I haven't tried any of the other root retouchers that like L'Oreal and other companies have, but this one was so good and it was such a good match. And one of the PR girls um, at the event, she was just like, I never knew who would actually use this color. And then I saw your hair. So this color was made for me basically. Um, so yeah, super impressed by it. So keep an eye out for like before and after photos with that. It's really good. I just wanted to bring it up because it has been one of my favorites for the last little while. And that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. I'm happy to be back. I don't want to make any promises to you guys though. I will not be doing a video every week for the next little while. I already know that I can say that. Um, I am going to promise though to try my best to do videos or blog posts when I can. Um, that's obviously going to change every week. Um, but yeah, this is, it's just, a new chapter of my life and there's a lot going on and I just don't want to promise anything because then I feel bad. Um, but I have been getting the urge the last little while to get back into it, maybe post a couple things on Instagram, things like that. And one of the people that's kind of lit that fire beneath me again um, a little bit, um, it's it's a very small flame right now, um, but it was Haley. I met her at Shell's Pride Party and she's such a lovely human being. She puts out great content here on YouTube as well. And as we were saying goodbye, she, like, you know, we're hugging all kinds of She goes, please start making videos again. And I was like, oh, it kind of hurt me a little bit just because, I mean, I know that I don't have a big following whatsoever. But even just for one person to, like, want me to put out content again, it kind of, I'm just like, oh, I am kind of letting myself and maybe other people down. I'm not really sure. Um, so I will not promise that I will get a video out every week and I will do three blog posts a week. I cannot promise that, but I will promise to try and do my best to get a video out here and there when I can um, and take advantage of some downtime and maybe hopefully have this be um, a release for me of, from stress and all that kind of stuff with work. So Make sure to go check out Haley down below. She had a recent tag video that I think I'm going to try and do in the next little while. Um, again, not promising anything, but I will try my best. I hope that you guys have all been really good the last little while. Please leave me messages down below and stuff like that of like what you've been up to and what you're planning on doing for the rest of the summer. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. I know that I will because it is my birthday. Um, I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you guys are all really well. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.